and welcome to Fantasy Island. Life could be a dream. A place where anything is possible. Blumhouse's Fantasy Island is a horror adaptation to the popular 70s TV show. The show starred Ricardo Montalban as the mysterious Mr. Rourke. In the film, Michael Peña takes over the iconic role as he is the one that grants the fantasies of guests that come to the tropical resort. But when the fantasies turn into nightmares, the guests have to solve the island's mystery in order to escape with their lives. Even though the series aired in the 70s, this adaptation with Peña's version of Mr. Rourke still relates to society today. It's a thing that like I think people are still interested in and in a weird way because like when you know with social media or whatever there's life and there's Instagram life, you know, for instance, people still have that fantasy. You know, there's people taking pictures of like them in a in a, a like a beach or something, yeah. but it's mm -hmm. a picture of a beach, you know? Um, so there's a lot of that still going around, and so he's out there to, to fulfill people's fantasies. Now you play him like more nonchalant, kind of cold. This is a different Michael Pena that I'm like used to seeing. How did you like take on that role? Because it was different. Yeah, I mean, I basically uh, like thought of myself, like how am I in the morning uh, <laughs> before I have my coffee? I'm like, that's how I'm gonna play him. No, I'm kidding. Um, Ricardo actually did kind of the same thing, where he was, you never, you never knew if he was like, you know, giving you the wink, or, if, or if he was really like not, didn't like you, or you know, you couldn't really read the guy, which I thought was really important, and also it was written that way. Um, so you know, the idea was to have this ominous character, you know, hosting, um, you know, your journey and being very stringent in, in, in the way of like having you fulfill the, the fantasy to its natural conclusion and not diverting in any other way. And so if you chose it, you have to, you have to live with it. And so I think that's the necessity of him having to do that is why he is the way he is. Pena was joined by a unique cast that surprisingly brought the laughs to the film. Yeah, there's a couple of guys that are really, really funny. Ryan Hansen and Jimmy O. Yang. Uh, they serve up some some jokes and you know some levity there. Uh, and there's a couple of other places that like uh, really well placed um, levity that I I found really um, entertaining. Since the film talks about the ultimate fantasy, I had to ask Michael his fantasy. My mom died when I was younger, so I would, would want to reunite with her, spend like a week with her. Like that would be amazing. That's cute. If yeah. I went to the, if I went to that place, you know, like everybody loves their mom, yeah. you know, I'd love to spend a, a week with her. Yeah, that'd be great. No revenge. Yeah, no revenge. I don't have any revenge. Catch Michael Pena and the rest of the cast in Blumhouse's Fantasy Island out now in South Florida theaters. I'm Miriam Tapia for the CW South Florida.